Tonight we'll be making one of my favorite gin based drinks, the Green Snapper. From Durham, North Carolina, you're watching Cocktails Under Quarantine. My name is Suzanne, and for episode number two, we're going to be making one of my favorite gin based drinks, the Green Snapper. This drink also highlights fresh herbs, which was a request from one of our viewers. I got the green, the recipe for the green snapper from the 12 Bottle Bar, which is a really awesome cocktail making book. It's great for beginners, it's very simple and approachable. It's by David Solomonson and Leslie Jacob Solomonson, so check it out. This um, drink we're gonna be making tonight, I'm gonna be making a double recipe to share with David, who's my favorite person to be quarantined with. This recipe can easily be scaled down to one, one serving or up to as many as you like for a party. So we're going to start. It's a blender drink. So last episode I talked about how most drinks are either shaken or stirred, and that's a little bit of a lie because there's actually a third class of drinks that are built in the glass, and the green snapper falls into that category. So we're going to start with pineapple juice. I'm going to take 10 ounces and I'm going to put it in a blender. And this is fresh, but if you have canned, you know, dull canned pineapple juice, that's totally fine. Shake it before you put it in the blender. So we put that in, and then we're going to add um, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Okay, and it goes. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon, sorry, a half a teaspoon of sugar. So this is for using my, um, my uh, sugar canister is um, from the Minton China Company, which is a, a defunct British China Company, but they actually made a, a pattern in the 1970s called Suzanne, and David got it for me, which I thought was pretty cool. So, half a teaspoon of sugar. And then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And that might seem a little bit strange to you, but salt actually um, is a good addition to most cocktails because it just helps bring out the flavor. So, you know, you don't need too much, just, you know, a pinch of salt. In it goes, okay. Set that over here. And then we're gonna add our fresh herbs, which just add this really awesome springiness to it. And so we have here, um, I don't know if you can see this, we can, we've got cilantro and we've got mint, and the mint is from my garden. So just, um, calls for a tablespoon, just, you know, you don't have to be too precise about it, just take a small bunch and just, you know, kind of rip the stems off. Bye bye, you don't need those. Put those to the side, and just, you know, maybe rip it in half, just throw that bad boy in there. There you go. And we're going to blend it up. Doing this backwards. Until, until the herbs are nicely pulverized, and this will also give your sugar and salt a chance to dissolve. Okay, so after you have blended that all up, we're gonna strain it. So I've got just a little colander here. Um, you can, you know, use whatever strainer you've got on hand. Don't worry about it being like a super fine mesh strainer, because I actually think if you have like the really small little speckles of herbs in there. I think that's, it looks nice, it tastes nice. So um, I think a coarse strain is totally fine. So I'm just gonna strain that. Mmm, you guys can't smell it, but it smells so good. The cilantro, the mint, it is pretty awesome smelling. Um, some people don't like cilantro. They think it smells, it tastes soapy. Apparently that's genetic. Um, I love cilantro. I think it just makes everything um, kind of fresh and crisp and zippy and awesome. But um, if you just want to make yours with mint, that's that's cool. So we're just gonna set that to the side. Okay, great. So um, here is our green snapper mix, and it's like this nice, pretty, vibrant green color. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna add it to a Collins glass. So Collins glass is just kind of a tall kind of. Um, narrow cocktail glass. We're going to fill it with cube ice, about two thirds of the way full, okay? And then we're going to add six ounces of our green snapper mix. So, and you can, um, 
Okay. And what's great is you can make, if you want to go to a party, you can, um, and wow your guests, um, if you want to bring something for the, as a contribution, a drink contribution, you can make the, the green snapper mix ahead of time and then just bring your gin and your Tabasco to go with it. So um, I'm going to add two ounces of London dry gin and this Plymouth gin, which is a very um, typical example of London dry gin. It's got the, it's um, not quite as um, juniper forward, I believe, but it's got the juniper, it's got the citrus, it's got the nice, um, herbal notes that really play well with the, um, the mint and the cilantro. So we're just going to add that in there. Ooh, it's a little, it's pretty full. I'm going to take a sip here. Okay, and then of course it is the green snapper, so we got to be snappy. So um, I'm going to add a few drops of um, Tabasco sauce. This is green Tabasco because to go with the whole green snapper thing, but if you have red Tabasco, that's fine. I don't add a ton. I just want it to be a little snappy. Um, that's up to you. If you want it to be real snappy, add more. If you don't like spice at all, then, you know, don't bother. And then just give it a real gentle stir. This is a, a cocktail spoon. It's long and thin and it's, it's perfect for this. Um, I really do find that having a cocktail spoon is a helpful part of your home bar um, repertoire, but um, if you don't have it, you can just use a regular spoon. Alrighty, I'm just going to set that aside and we'll do some brief tasting notes. It's so good. Um, the pineapple is definitely there. It's a little bit sweet, but not too much. Um, and you really, the, the gin plays super nicely with the herbs. It's just a perfect drink for sitting outside in your garden during the springtime, enjoying it and trying to stay healthy. Um, so there you have it, the green snapper. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and drink responsibly. Durham, North Carolina, you're watching Cocktails Under